of the reasons they started using concrete in the 1880s is because they didn't have the money to make cut stone harbors anymore because they're really expensive to make. Concrete was really inexpensive and that's still true today. I came from um, an island in West Cork, down in uh, Fair Island, down in West Cork. And you had two choices because uh, the only the youngest one that was left in the family was the one that stayed at home and inherited the thing. And everybody else had them. You had two choices, you either went fishing or you emigrated. And I just, I started fishing and it said, it gets in on your head, it's like a disease, you cannot. <laughs> Get away from it, much of that. Well, this part was very uh, industrious 50, 60 years ago, but it's almost, there's nothing. When you see the grass growing on the pier, the pier is unused. That's, <laughs> it's all, it, there's very little fishing now out of, uh, out of Galway itself. Most of it has now gone to out to Ratsaville. Then. But all this area here on the back were all fishing families at one stage. Okay. All, and, and they fished out of here. This is why it was, I suppose, a hundred years ago. If you have stuff, the lorry can come down and pick up your catch from it. But it was all built by hand. It was all hand cut stone. Yeah, you can see all the all the blocks around the edge. They're all cut by hand. They are all built a wall and then filled in the inside with rubble. That's how they and then put a, a sort. In those days, what happened was. Uh, the market were bad. So you could catch it, you fish, but you wouldn't sell it on. Fish used for mackerel in the summertime up in the bay. All oh, the mackerels are trapped here. That is like a pool. And they cannot go. Then, you know, because when it's low tide, they're all in the middle of the bay. When the high tide is coming, and then coming behind the fish and them get trapped here back again, you know, and it's like a circle of life, we can say, yeah? And I don't regret that I looked into the deep